together with God's wonderful people. And it's a blessing, you know, when we come together to, to acknowledge the Lord. For our God is a great God. Our God is triumphant. Amen. Our God is powerful. Our God is all is ever present everywhere. He's all powerful. He knows everything. What a God. You know, He knows our circumstances. And you know, we have to thank Him for all He has done for us. The Lord has brought us from a mighty long way. And um, we are grateful. You know, God wants us to be show gratitude. When He's done something for us, He wants us to show gratitude. So, without further ado, we're going to have a prayer, opening prayer, um, to ask God to invite the presence of God to lead us and direct us in this part of the service. We are blessed today. I am blessed. I am wonderfully blessed. Wonderfully blessed. God bless you. I am blessed as well. Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, we glorify God. Amen. Um, Brother Clinton, hmm? can you lead us in prayer, please? We ask to lead us in prayer. Open prayer for us, Brother Clinton. Short prayer to ask God's pre okay. presence to guide us along the way. Most gracious and eternal Father, as we come this evening again with thanksgiving in our hearts, because we're so grateful with our for having this um, semi-conference. Because if it wasn't for you, dear Lord, we wouldn't have opened this, um, this conference. And we have to give you thanks and praise, because you are the one and only true living God. We thank you for grace and mercy towards us and our family. Father, open our eyes that we can get to see, because some of us are really blind, O oh Father. Give us a heart, a clean and pure in heart. Let it be as white as snow. We thank you, we praise you, and we give you all the honor. Oh, glory be to God. I thank you, Father, for the things that you have done in our lives and what you are about to do. Father, for this virus that is going around and taking so many lives for oh God. I'm asking you, Father, to touch your children right now, because you are the only one who has got the truth in life and death. And your children have been crying out to you, dear Father. Yes, you can do one right now. Thank you, dear Father. So we ask you in the name of Jesus that whatever this conference brings out, dear Father, there will be some life that can be saved. We thank you, dear Father, and we praise you, and we give you all the honor in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. We give God thanks and praise for His goodness and for His mercies. And we just can't, we just have to just give Him glory and praise. Um, you know, the time that we're in now. My brother and sister, we know we have to give God thanks because so many things is going on around us. But you know, He gives us peace in the midst of the storm. You know, he, when the sea is roaring and the tempest is high, you know, we can say, Jesus. And He will wake and say, Peace be still. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. So I'm going to sing a song before we go any further. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. The grace and mercy of God has brought us through. Amidst everything yeah. else, His grace and mercy is keeping us. His love towards us is immeasurable. We cannot measure the love He has for us. He said in His word that no greater love has any man than this, that a man should lay down his life for his friend. How many people is going to lay down their life? How many of our, our friends, our so-called friends, will lay down their life for us? But he laid down his life for us. And he gave us life. And he gave us salvation. He gave us freedom. Uh, Praise the Lord. He gave us peace. Somebody open the door. He gave us peace that passed all, that, all understanding. Praise his name. God bless, bless you. Bless God bless you, Sister Clark. God bless you. 
Just going to sing a song before we go any further. Your grace and mercy has brought me through. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me through. Your grace and mercy brought me through. I'm living this moment because of you. I want to thank you and praise you too. Your grace and mercy brought me to. Amen. Amen. Praise you, God. Amen. Praise God. God bless you, Sister Clark. I hear a voice there. Thank Your you, grace Lord. and mercy has brought me through. Hallelujah. 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 What would we do? What we, where would we be without the grace and the mercy of God? Hallelujah. A Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. But you know, we, we are the ones that are grateful to God. For what he has done for us. We are the grateful ones. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we are the grateful ones. Remember there's a time when G there was ten lepers. Yes. Ten lepers. Amen. And they were passing and um, they came to Jesus and said, Lord, have mercy upon us. Yes. They needed something from the Lord. Yes, they did. And the Lord says, go. And as they went, their leprosy went. Amen. Praise the yes. Lord. And my, my story today is about lep leprosy. Sister Clark, and I want you to I read a scripture. Can you read the scripture for me? What will it be, brother? It will be 2 Kings chapter 5. 2 Kings. I'm not quite ready, but you can prepare yourself later yes. on. Second Kings chapter five and first one to sixteen. Second Kings chapter five yeah. verse one to sixteen. I will call you later on. Yes, when you're ready. When I'm ready, but if you could read that I'll be very grateful. Praise oh, the Lord. Okay. So as I'm saying, um, praise the Lord. As I said, Jesus, there was ten men what were lepers, and you know, they came to Jesus to be healed. Yes. And Jesus says, "Go your way." And as yes. they went, as they went, their leprosy went. Oh, praise the oh, Lord yeah. Jesus. Hallelujah. And when you, when 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 Jesus stood there. Out of the ten, out of the ten, only one, only one came back and say, say thank you. Only one. Only one. Only one. Um, only one. I'm going to go into the scripture 
it has something to do with leprosy mm -hmm. later on, but we'll talk a bit about that later yeah. on. But, you know, we are the ones who came back and say thank yeah. you, Jesus. Amen. The we yeah. are the remnant that came back and say thank Amen. you, Jesus. Because we, are, because we appreciate. Amen. Hallelujah. We appreciate what the Lord has done for us. Amen. Yes, we have. And uh, many people don't appreciate what God has done. Not at all. No, no, no. But thank God we appreciate Him God. for what He has done for yes. us. Amen. Amen. So, give thanks to you, my brethren. We had a wonderful time today in the house of God. I really, wonderful. I really thank am God. blessed. And I, I am blessed, you know, to be with the brethren, to sing, in, uh, to be praising God, to be glorifying yes. God. I am blessed. Amen. I am blessed when I'm in the presence of God. And when we call we upon... We are blessed, my brother. We are blessed. So... Yes. We, it's a blessing that God has given us, which we do not take for granted. Mm. Amen. No, we should not. But we appreciate Him for he, the love Very that he, much. the love that He has shown us. Yes. The love that He has exhibited towards us. We Amen. are grateful. We are grateful. Praise the Lord yes, Jesus. We are. You know, we are seeing so many things happening around us these days, and. Um, it looked like the church is on the fire. And, um, oh, yes, it seems so, brother. It, it looks like so. we are under the attack of the enemy. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. But, you know, the thing is, the, the, the battle is not ours, you know. Not at all. The battle is not ours. The battle is not the Lord's. All, brother. <laughs> The battle is the Lord's because we are not fighting normal powers. But the Bible says we are wrestling against principalities and powers and, powers and spiritual and wickedness. 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 Mm -hmm. wickedness. Wickedness. In high places. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes. And you know God is a wise God. In that yes, he is. God knows that we can't fight this battle alone. No, we can't fight Hallelujah. it. He knows we can only do so much. We can we fast. In He's in spirit, we, so amen, we can amen. Around. We can fast. We can pray. We can call upon the name of the Lord. We can make intercession. We can yes. say, thus say the Lord. But when it comes to all, the Bible says, having you done... The Bible says, having done all, stand. Yes, stand. Hallelujah. Having Thank done all. God. So when we do our part, when we do our part, we have to stand and, yes. leave, and leave God. Leave God Almighty. Yes. Leave God Amen. Almighty to do the rest. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what Praise we need God. to do. We do our part and we leave the Almighty God to do the rest. And He Amen. will. And He will do the rest. Do the rest. Hey, hallelujah. That's why He said, Be still and Amen. know that I am God. Amen. Be still and hallelujah. know that I am God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Be still. Amen. Our and God is real. God. Yes. Some, some don't understand it. But you see, the Amen. thing is about God. You have to Know him before you can talk about him. If we exactly, you have to have a relationship amen, with him, brother. Amen. If we many have people know him, but they, many people hear about him, but they don't know him. Amen. Because they haven't got that relationship. With amen. Him. And the thing Hallelujah. is, Hallelujah. Amen. And the thing is, we can't talk about someone who we do not know. No. Or if we talk about someone we do not know, that means we are making a false statement on yes, the person because we don't know we heard of him we heard of him but we don't know him it's a difference we between hearing him. about somebody and knowing somebody it's two different things it's two different things so we not yes. only hear about God we but we have dealt with him and he has dealt with us and we have Amen. we have 
our relationship. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. So because of that, we know that our God is able. He is able. And is able to do exceedingly. Exceedingly, exceedingly more than abundantly what above what Amen. we may ask or think. Amen. Because he's God. Amen. And he's God all by himself. Hallelujah. <laughs> he's God all by himself. Yes, he doesn't need no help, brother. Amen. Uh -huh. You know, our God Thanks, is so God. powerful. All, all our God needs to do is speak the word. Speak the word. That's all you need to do. God don't need to take up Amen. sword. God don't need to take up sword or anything like that to fight. No. The, the, the sword of God is his mouth. Exactly. Hallelujah. The word that comes so, mouth. what a wonderful God we serve. What a wonderful God wonderful. we serve. And so we give him the glory. And we give him the honor. Amen. That is due unto his holy name. Praise his name. Amen. Praise the Amen. name of God. Um, I wanted to ask uh, Sister Moore. Sister Moore, are you there? Yes, I am. Sister Moore, God bless you. It was yes, nice to I see am. you today in the house of God. Amen. 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 And I'm yes. going to ask you in a little while to share your testimony. Um, what the Lord has done for you. You know, the Bible says we overcome by our testimony. A testimony, a testimony is a very important thing. A testimony Amen. is declaring what the Lord has done. Amen. It's, Amen. it's like a witness, you know. It is a witness. So we can say, look, the Lord has done this for me. So he can do it for you Amen. too. So we Amen. encourage each other with our testimony. So, um, I'm going to ask you, Sister Moore, to share a little testimony with us of what the Lord has done in your life. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. God bless you, Sister Moore. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Praise the Amen. Lord. I want to join with the songwriter, having my own experience, and say it is so sweet. The trust in Jesus. in Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I am so glad that I mm. learned to trust Him. Amen. Amen. Jesus is your friend. Yes. And I know that He'll be with me. Yes. Right. With me to the end. Amen. I want to thank the Lord for His saving grace. Amen. A merited favor upon my life. Hallelujah. And Thank I you, Lord. Without him, I couldn't have made it. Not at all. I want to thank him for his protection, his goodness, his keeping here, everything that he has done for me. In him I live, I move, and I have my being. Amen. Amen. And, um, I, I couldn't make it. On my own. No. I could say, um, um, the longer I serve him, yes. the deeper he goes. Amen. I, I give him thanks for touching my body last year um, and early this year. Mm -hmm. I suffered with a bad sensation going down my left side, mm -hmm. which affected me standing and walking. Mm -hmm. Amen. I went to the doctor, but what he gave me didn't help much. Mm -hmm. But I thank God because daily I, I, I lay my hands on the side and I ask God, God, please touch me. And with the prayer, with my prayer and the prayers of the brethren, thank God. Thank God. Amen. Touch me. I Amen. One day I was walking from the high road, and I, I, um, as I was walking along, slowly, I said, I was talking to the Lord, and I said, Lord, I remember how I used to walk this street. Mm. Now, the Lord, look at me. 
I'm asking you to touch me. And I turn around and say, Lord, I still give you thanks because I'm moving. Amen. I thank God, you know, sometimes whatever situation we find ourselves. Oh, Jesus. Take your thanks. Yes, yes, I absolutely. Thank God to touch me. And I don't have that sensation anymore. Mm -hmm. Thank God. It is to trust God. It Amen. Is to depend on Him. And I'm asking Him that He will roll back the curtains of memory now and then. Show me where He brought me from, where I could have been. It's a lot that I could say, brethren. I, when I look back, I mm. see where the Lord has brought me from. What he has done for me. My Amen. Christ, hallelujah. And I'm asking him to help me. Not to Amen. Come to but to come back and give him thanks. God bless you. Praise the Lord. God bless you, my sister. What a wonderful testimony. Praise the Lord. God is good. So, you know, God, every one of his children who depend on him, he never fails. He's always yes, there. When we call upon yes. the Lord, the Lord will hear us. Because yes. He loves us. And He cares for us. So whenever Amen. the situation comes, whether we have physical problem, whatever it is, emotional problem, any type of problems, God is able. Because He's a great God. He's powerful. He can do it. He created us. He's created us. Now, you know, He created us. He, he made creatures in His own image. He knows yes. the body function. He knows about it. So He He said, I'm the Lord that healed thee. And I'm going to sing one more song. Then I asked um, Sister Cloud to read the scripture for us. He touched me. He Amen. touched me. Oh, me. And oh, by joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now I know. Touch me, touch me and me me oh he touch me oh he touch me and oh that joy that floods my soul Something it happened, happened and now Touch me. He touched me, and I think every one of us, what God has touched, has never been the same. Amen. There's no Amen. way, praise oh. the Lord, there's no way we can come in contact, actually come in contact with Jesus and be the same. There's no way. And I know the that. songwriter says something has to happen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Anytime we, if we, if we come, if we, we if something doesn't happen well we haven't contacted we haven't been in touch we haven't been connected to jesus but once we are connected Amen. to jesus there has to be a change mm. there has yes. to be Hallelujah. something happening Amen. something has to happen Hallelujah. as we heard today about the man who was sick yeah four men of palsy oh. Oh. And they went to Jesus and they could not get to see Jesus, so they had to go, go to the rooftop until the roof opened. 
tear the roof open in order to get the man down to where Jesus is so that he could Amen. be healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And when Jesus said to him, Thy sins are forgiven, then they said, Who can forgive sins but God? But Jesus was God. They didn't realize yes. Jesus was God. So, he said, so Jesus says, which is the best? Which is easier? To say that sins forgiven or to say get up and walk. Rise up and walk. Amen. So something happened Amen. to that man. Something happened to him. And he Hallelujah. rose up and took up his bed and walk. Praise Amen. the name of Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve. Jesus. What a wonderful God we serve. He's able. Amen. He is able. Yes, he is. Whatever he is the able. circumstances that we face in this time, I'm telling you, God is able. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. He's able. Yes, Lord. He cannot fail. Failure is not no, in his portfolio. Fail. Amen. He doesn't fail. fail. Failure is a word that it, it doesn't compute, it doesn't understand, it doesn't work. Failure is something Amen. that I don't think about when it comes to God. Praise the Lord Amen. Jesus. So we thank God for you, my brethren. And I'm going to ask Sister Clark now to read the scripture for us. Amen. Which is taken from 2 Kings chapter 5. And we're going to read from verse 1 to verse 16. So, Sister Amen. Clark, please Thank read God. for us, please. Second Kings chapter 5, commencing from verse 1 to 16. Amen. Now Naaman, king, captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable, because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man in valor, but he was a leper. And the Syrians had gone out by companies, and he had brought away capture out of captivity, out of the land of Israel, a little maid. And she was waiting on Naaman's wife. And she said unto her mistress, Would God, my Lord, were with uh, the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover him from his leprosy. And one went in and told his Lord, saying, Thus and thus said the maid, that is of the land of Israel. And the king of, Israel, of Syria said, Go to, go, and I will send a letter unto the king of Israel. And he departed and took with him ten talents of silver and six thousand pieces of gold and ten changes of raiment. And he brought the letter to the king of Israel, saying, How when this letter is now unto thee, behold, I have therewith said Naaman, my servant, to thee, that thou mayest recover him of his leprosy. And it came to pass, when the king of Israel had read the letter, read the letter, that he rent his clothes and said, Am I a god to kill and to make alive that this man doth send unto me to recover a man of his leprosy? Wherefore, consider, I pray you, and see how he seeketh a quarrel against me. And it was so, when Elijah the man of God had heard that the king of Israel had rent his clothes, that he sent to the king, saying, 
Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come now to me, and he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elijah. And Elijah sent a messenger unto him, saying, Go and wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. And Naaman was wroth, and went away, and said, Behold, I thought he were, will surely come out to me, and stand, and call on the name of the Lord his God, and strike his hand over the place, and recover the leprosy. Are, are not Harman and Apara rivers of Damascus better than all the waters of Israel? May I not wash in them and be clean? So he turned and went away in a rage. And his servant came near and spake unto him and said, My father, if the prophet has did thee to, d to do some great thing, wouldest thou not have done it? How much rather than when he said to thee, Wash and be clean. Then went he down and dipped himself seven times in Jordan, according to the saying of the man of God, and his flesh came again like unto the flesh of a little child, and he was clean. And he returned to the man of God, he and all his company, and came and stood before him, and he said, Behold, now I know there is no God in all the earth, but in Israel now therefore. I pray thee, take a blessing of thy servant. 16 and part ending. But he said, As the Lord liveth, before whom I stand, I will receive none. And he urged him to take it, but he refused. Praise God. Praise God for his word. Praise, his wonderful Praise name. the name of, the of Jesus. Of Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless Praise you. God. The, Lord, the word of the Lord is already blessed, but we say, Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the and to the Holy Ghost, and to the, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was now in the beginning, it shall Amen. now and shall be nevermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the more, Lord. Thank you, Praise Sister Clark, for reading that scripture for us. Praise the Lord. A very interesting scripture. Uh, the Lord has put on yeah. my heart to talk to or uh, to, to speak to us about. Um, about Naaman, the king, the, 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 the captain. Praise the Lord Jesus. Um, as we read, as we read the scriptures, the Bible says Naaman was a captain of the host of Syria. It says he was a great man, with his master and honorable, because the Lord has given him deliverance unto Syria. He was a mighty man of valor, but he was a leper. Praise the Lord Jesus. It goes to show my brethren that, you know, sometimes people can be prosperous in life. People can be living very yeah. good, very comfortable. People can have, you know, everything they want. People can be yeah. on top of the world, put it that way. They can have all the comfort in life. But, you know, there's a problem. Because yeah, without something. God, without God, Without Jesus in your life, in our life, Amen. we are just as bad as Naaman. Yes. It doesn't matter. We are just as bad as Naaman. Now, leprosy.
was a very um, contagious disease. And in those days, yeah. when someone have leprosy, um, as, as it is a contagious disease, it means that you have to stay away from that person. It is said that it, it no one. Amen. It is said it was difficult to catch, and sometimes it take many years to develop symptoms of the leprosy. And it is like a bacteria sort of infection that are mainly affect the skin and the peripher per peripheral nerves and mucus and upper respiratory tract and the eyes. So, you know, you can imagine the type of life that Naaman was living. And even though he, God gave him the victory, he was a captain, that means God gave him deliverance. And maybe every war that he fought because he was in the favor of God. God allowed him to win the battles. But there was a problem. The problem was that he was a leper. Even yeah. though he was, he was given the victory and deliverance, then there was a problem, the problem of his leprosy. Nobody wants yeah. to be a leper. So he had a problem. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And you know, sometimes we realize that we need something in our life more than what we have. And if we, when we don't have God in our life, it doesn't matter what we have. There's an emptiness inside. Yes. There's an emptiness Amen. that the emptiness inside financial gain cannot give you. The emptiness Nothing. we have inside without Jesus, it doesn't matter how popular or how famous you are or whatever position you, you have in, in this life. It doesn't fulfill the emptiness. You need God. We need God inside. And Naaman was such, he had leprosy. He had a need. He had a need. And God, God let it be so that there was a, a maid from Israel who worked yeah. in him, who served him. And she had compassion. She knew that God favored him. But even though God favored him, sometimes people are, are counting blessings, favor for blessings. God favored him because God let him, give him deliverance. And yeah. he was a mighty man. And it, it said, oh, well, uh, because amen. the Lord had given him deliverance unto Syria. So God used him. But he needed something more. And the Amen. maid said unto him, a mistress, Would to God, would to my, would my God, my Lord, were with the prophet that is in Samaria, for he would recover of his leprosy. Amen. So we see that Amen. the maid said to him, to the mistress, that God can deliver. God can heal. Amen. God can yeah. satisfy his need. Yeah. Amen. And it was said to him, and so the king of Assyria now sent a letter to the king of Israel and gave ten talents of silver and 6,000 pieces of gold and 10 changes of garment. Amen. Amen. He had a need. But you know, sometimes people believe that the favors of God, the blessings of God can be bought with money yeah. or with a price. And so the king of Assyria thought maybe, I say it looks like a bribe. But you can't bribe God. I will send him these gifts in exchange. So he is thinking that if I send these gifts to the king of Israel, the king of Israel will grant me a favor. Because brethren, this is how the world works and this is how the world operates. I give you and you give me. I give you and you give me. And we will and we'll square up. But God is not so. God Amen. is not so. The salvation of God is free. Yes. If salvation was a thing that money could buy, 
the rich, yes. the rich would have it, and the poor would die. Mm. So salvation cannot be bought. But the king of Assyria thought, maybe let me try and see if I can get the prophet, I'll uh, get the king to, to, to work something. But I will, I will give him something. So, you know, you know. Amen. So they bought it, the letter to the king. And when it came, it came unto him, and behold, I have thee with sin from Naaman, my servant, to thee, that he may recover from the leprosy. And it came to pass when the king of Israel read the letter, he rent his clothes and said, Am I God to kill and make alive? This man sent unto me to recover the leprosy. Wherefore, consider, I pray thee, send him now. See how he seek a quarrel against me. He was just a king. He's not a prophet. The king of Israel was just a king. He was not a prophet. So the letter came to the wrong man. Because he couldn't do nothing. He didn't realize. He, as we mentioned before, the king of Israel did not have a relationship with God. But Elisha had a relationship with God. So how important it is for us to have a relationship with God. Because when we have a relationship with God, God can use us. To work yeah. and you know I've seen so many things even in this year pandemic year that we have here 2020 I have seen the movement of God I have seen the movement of God I've seen the power of God I've seen people saints of God prayed and I've seen answer to prayer Hallelujah. nothing else but the power of God so Amen. we realize that God is able to do great work but he needs yes. people who have a relationship with him to work with amen. Amen. amen he couldn't work God could not work with the king of Israel because the king of Israel though he is a king he didn't have that connection with God no so now so when it came into the ear of Elisha, the man of God, it says it came to pass when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel rent his clothes, that he sent unto the king, saying, Wherefore hast thou rent thy clothes? Let him come to me, and he shall know that there is a God, a prophet in Israel. Brethren, Amen. my brethren, who are there with me, you know and I know that our God is able. Amen. Not everybody Amen. can have that, that, that commitment, that understanding mm -hmm. that God is able. Whatever the circumstances, mm -hmm. if we come together, God, and ask God for anything, mm -hmm for any situation, for any circumstances, it will be done. Amen. It will be done. Hallelujah. So Elijah, because he had that relation, Elisha, because he had that relationship with God, he said to the king, why have you rent your clothes? You tear up your clothes. Why you tear up your clothes? There's a prophet in Israel. And sometimes when, when we see things, and things and people are wondering what's going on. We are the answer. The people of God has the answer. There is a child. There's a, we have a connection with Jesus. We have a connection with God. Let Amen. him come. Let him come to me. And he shall know that there is a prophet in Israel. Amen. Brethren, we need to be in that position where we can say, let him come. Because we know a God who can fix any situation, no matter what it is. Now, when we see Amen. what's happening with this COVID-19 now, people are wondering what is happening. Now, there's going, there possibly will be another lockdown. There's a lockdown. I heard that in Wales. They're locking down Wales right now. So they might be locking down London next time. I don't know. But brethren, 
be assured that there is a God. Amen. And there is Amen. there is a God that we can call up upon Amen. to come to our defense. To come to our defense. Amen. Fear not. Amen. Fear not. Amen. So now, Naaman came. Amen. Amen. Naaman came. And he came with horses. He came with chariots and stood at the door of Elisha. Mm -hmm. So, Elijah, right. now imagine this, now Elijah did not go to see Naaman, although he was a great man. He was a mighty man. He was an honorable man. And God gave him victory. But, but, but Elijah didn't go out to see Naaman. No. No. He sent a messenger to say, go wash seven times and thy flesh shall come unto thee and thou shalt be clean. Now, you know, sometimes we wonder how God do things. And the, the thing is about us as children of God, sometimes we don't realize how God works. Mm -hmm. Although we know he no. can work, we don't realize how he works and we don't know how he's going to work. Um, this, this, but God is so unique in what he does. He's, he's unique. Amen. He's unique. So Elijah didn't go out to him as maybe he had anticipated that Elijah would come out to him because he's a great man in Syria. It's like maybe like almost next to the prime minister maybe. He's a big man. But all oh, Elijah wasn't interested. Elijah just gave him, gave him an instruction. And that instruction, if he obeyed that instruction, he all is well. If he disobeyed, then, then, then we would have to go back with, to his leprosy. And the Bible tells me, it says that Naaman was angry. Yes. He went away. You know, some people just expect things to be the way they want it to be. And some people just expect yes. some certain attention and so yes. certain honor. You know, but yes. if without God, without God, yes. without God, we, be, we are unclean. Yes. You know, and we, without God, it doesn't matter how we progress in life. You know, because a lot of things, people think blessings is all about having a big mansion, driving the, van, the very best car, maybe possibly having a second house or something. People think that is blessing. But the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness, and all things Amen. shall be added unto you. Amen. So that's what we need, everybody needs, to seek God. And Naaman was so wroth, and he went away and said, Behold, I thought he surely would come out unto me and stand and call on the name of the Lord, his God, and strike his hand over the place and recover my leprosy. The answer, when we ask God for something, it is not always the way we expect it to come. Amen. And it's not always in the same direction that we expect that blessing to come. No. It will come the way God says it will come. It, they, will always say, they always say that beggars are not choosers. So if you're asking God for a deliverance, don't tell him how. How he must deliver you. Don't tell God how he must deliver you. That is not in your prerogative. That is not for you to say how. You ask God for something, you wait, and he will tell you what you need to do. Yeah. And so it was. Naaman was wroth. He said, Are ah, not Abna, Abna, and Papa, rivers in Damascus, better than the rivers, the waters of Israel. May I not wash in them and be clean? And he no. turned away in rage. Yes. Naaman was mad. 
Because they come all this way. And the man tell me I must go and wash in River Jordan. What's so special about River Jordan? It's not what's so special about River Jordan. It's about obeying, obeying. Amen. It's not what's so special. It's the man say go wash seven times. It's not oh, which river, which mm. in river, and he gave you direction, river Jordan. Mm. That's the river you must go and dip seven times. Mm. So it's not conditioned. The word of God is not conditional. It's what he says. Amen. And the servant came near. Good thing, sometimes it's good to have somebody who have an open mind can give you advice, you know. Because if no, there was nobody to talk to Naaman, Naaman may have gone back to Syria, vexed, mm -hmm. and start cursing the prophet and cursing Israel. And he, never, he would not have got his deliverance. Because that would block out. Sometimes we block out because we don't obey. We block out the blessings because we don't obey. We think that God should do this this way. Mm -hmm. And the blessing should come in that fash fashion. Out there from that end. Mm -hmm. But God say. But the prophet say go wash. Amen. Virgin. Thank God for those who have washed. He says his Amen. blood shall wash us whiter than snow. And the blood of Jesus Amen. applied in our life. Amen. 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 And we went. Amen. And we washed. And we can say, yeah, I have seen the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. So the servant said, unto my father, if the prophet had bid thee to do something great. Imagine that. Wouldest thou not have done it? How much then? When he said unto thee, go wash and be clean. And okay, so he took the advice of his servant said, all right, okay, I'm going to do as the prophet say. Do as the prophet say. I'm going to go down to Jordan, and I'm going to wash. And I'm going Amen. to see. And he went down and dipped himself Amen. seven, seven times in Jordan, according to the saying mm. of the man of God. And what happened? Yeah. His flesh came again onto, his, onto the flesh as a child, a child and he was clean amen amen amen, amen. amen. ah he's a miracle working god he he's a wonder yeah. he's a miracle he's a miracle working god yeah. so naaman obeyed god's word and the word of the prophet mm -hmm. and he went and he dipped seven times if he dipped six times it wouldn't work but he got to dip seven times because that's what the prophet says seven times amen and thou shalt be clean praise the lord jesus and he returned so he returned to the man of god now we're talking about gratefulness because we mentioned earlier on that when god bless us we should be grateful amen you know he didn't just got his healing and went off to Syria. No. The Bible says he came back and returned to the man of God with yes. he and he all his company and came and stood before him. You know something? That's good, you know. And he said, Behold, now I know there is a God in all the earth. Amen. You see? You see, when we believe God, you see, when we trust God, you see, when we obey God, we have a witness. He didn't know before. He didn't know God before. Nobody, the scripture didn't say he know God before, but because God did something for him. Yes, he realized. Yes. He came to the realization that there is a God. A lot Amen. of people need God to do something for them. A lot of people in the world today, they don't know God, but God needs to do something for them. But they need to call upon God. They need to yeah. seek the Lord. The Bible says, Hallelujah. seek ye first the kingdom of God and its righteousness. And all other things Amen. will be added unto you. Amen. The Amen. most important thing that 
any man who should have today is salvation. Mm -hmm. yes. Salvation is something that money can't buy. Mm -hmm. Salvation is the gift of God. But you have Amen. to have a need. You mm -hmm. God need you need to have a need. You need to have a need to seek God. He said, Seek and he shall find. Knock on the door yeah, shall knock. be opened unto you. And in another scripture Amen. said, I behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man, any man, any woman, any child, any boy, any girl, hallelujah, any boy, any girl should open unto me, I will come in and I will sup with them. Oh, praise God. Amen. Isn't God good? Thank you. Hallelujah. Isn't God good? Amen. Amen. He's just standing there. He's just standing at the door. And he's knocking. He's standing there and he's knocking. All anyone needs to do is to open the door. And he said, I will come in. And I will sup with him. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. What a wonderful God. So he says, I know. Naaman said, I know. Behold, I know that there is a God in the earth. In all the earth, but in Israel. I pray thee, take thee, take a blessing of thy servant. And he said unto him, Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, before who I stand, I will not receive none. And he urged him to take it, but he refused. Amen. This is for people who believe they can sell God's blessing. Amen. Those who believe they can gain from blessing Amen. someone. That is not God. The blessings of God don't come with money. It don't come with gold. It don't come for. It don't come by silver. It don't come by by gold. It comes by grace of God, His blessings. You know, sometimes when people hear that things are free, they run to buy it. Sometimes they advertising, come get this free, get this free. People like free things. It's a general thing that everybody likes something free, something, something free, something for nothing. And God Almighty is giving salvation right now to whosoever will. Free! Salvation, free! You only need to open your heart and come to Jesus. It is not for money. So he, 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 he tried to say, oh my, Elisha, well, you, have, you have done so much. You have cleansed me of my leprosy. You have saved me from a dreaded, dreaded disease. And it's a good thing. They never have the vaccination for, 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 for leprosy. But, you know, leprosy was cured. And I don't think coronavirus is any greater than leprosy. And they didn't need a, a vaccination for, 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 for leprosy. They, they say that antibiotics in these things would help, would, would heal leprosy. But many disease has gone and there was need for no vaccine. Amen. 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 People have been healed from um, AIDS and SARS, Ebola, and they I didn't hear them using no vaccine. And this coronavirus is not nothing more than a cold, to be honest with you. And if your immune system is strong, 99% of people who got coronavirus with a strong immune system survives it. Many people have recovered from it. Amen. There's no need yeah. for mandatory vaccine. Mm. And uh, I think yeah. we, the God, you know... <laughs> Although they never have vaccine in those days, but even if Elijah was here today, he wouldn't tell you about no vaccine. He would say, go and wash. 
Go on washing River Jordan. Go on wa well, no, maybe we wouldn't have it River Jordan, but him going to say washing the blood. Washing the blood of Jesus. Go wash in the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus cleanse from every kind of virus and disease and everything. You know something, people are thinking right now that coronavirus is a big thing. It's not a big thing. You know why it's not a big thing? The biggest problem mankind has and the world has right now, the biggest problem that the world has and mankind has is the word S-I-N. The biggest problem, you think people are making up such a ado, a big alabaloo over COVID-19. Now, I'm not saying there's not a virus such as COVID-19. It is a strain of the coronavirus, but coronavirus has been around a long time. For many, many years, coronavirus. Coronavirus basically is just a cold, but they call this strain of coronavirus COVID-19. For whatever reason. But people, 90% or 99% of people who are afflicted with coronavirus have been healed, have been, have, have, are living. Now, now, we want to ask some questions and we're not getting no answer. And I would like us to try to get some answer for the question. Who started the coronavirus? Where did it come from? It is a madman thing. We're not getting no answers. What is going to happen? What is the plan? And brethren, I, I say to you that we may not find ourselves going back to the old time way of living. And we are to prepare ourselves because the Bible tells us that these are the last days. And what we are seeing today declares that these are the last days. The signs that we are seeing today declares that we are in the last days. And some people are thinking that things will go back to normal. And we don't know if it will go back to normal. We don't know what is planned for us. But we have to hold on to Jesus. Hold amen. on to Jesus. Amen, amen, brother. Anchor. Let us anchor. Let us make sure that our soul is anchored in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And I say for the church, for the people of God that Jesus is coming soon. Amen. And I tell you, let us not think too much about what they are planning. About this lockdown. About, about this social distancing. About this wearing of masks. Let us think about the coming of the Lord. Because we want to be the wise virgin and yes. there will be some foolish virgin but we want yes. to be above the wise one. The wise one was waiting and their lamps was trimmed and they had extra oil. Extra oil in the lamp. And when there came a sound, behold the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Five virgins did not have any spare oil. The oil ran out. The grace ran out. The love for God ran out. They got cold and cold feet. And they were not ready. They were still putting on their clothes. They were not prepared. Their garment was spotted up. And they were not in white. And they were not ready. And those who were ready was ready. And those who were not ready said, Oh, the ones who have the extra oil, ah, beg you some of your oil. Beg you some of your oil because our oil went out. Brethren, make sure 
Make sure the oil don't run out. The oil of grace, the, the oil of thanksgiving, the oil of praise, the oil of praying, the oil of supplication. Make sure, make sure you have the connection. Don't you worry about what man is planning. Worry about the coming of the Lord. Amen. Because the Bible says the Lord himself shall descend with the shout mm -hmm. and the voice of the archangels and the trump of God and those that are dead, those who are died in the faith, the, those that died believing in Jesus, those that are died and hold up the gospel banner, they shall be risen. God shall resurrect them from the dead. Amen. And Jesus is not coming down to earth. He's going to stop in the mid-air. And only those who are qualified. No, qualification takes a lot. Amen. To be qualified takes a lot. It means that we have to have the connection. Because the Bible says, We who are alive and remain. We who are alive and remain Amen. well we have to be alive but we have to remain we have to remain in Jesus Amen. and you know God knows the Bible says the foundation of God standeth sure having this seal the Lord knows them that are his Amen. hallelujah you know it is the story told, uh, I'm going to close off now, but the story told of this, um, this man who had his wedding feast. And he sent out invitation to, to the wedding. And you know, what, what, what is coming now is like the wedding. Because the groom, Jesus is the groom and we are the bride. And Jesus is coming for the church. You know, so the, the stage is set now. Just look at this now. The stage is set for the coming of the Lord. And the Lord shall descend. And we, we shall rise to meet him. Amen. Amen. But the story was told. Jesus told a parable about the man who came to the wedding. And the man did not have his, on his wedding garment. He was not fully dressed. God is not taking the rubbish to heaven. Amen. God is not taking no unclean thing to heaven. Amen. Amen. God is not taking no heart of malice, no heart of jealousy, unrighteousness, unforgiveness. When God come in looking for children who have a pure heart. Amen. Amen. He's coming for the righteous, not the unrighteous. Hallelujah. He's not coming for us if we have malice and all sorts of things in our hearts. Covetousness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. He's, not, he's, not, he's not coming for us if we don't have love. Amen. Love to be clean. That is the oil. The fruit of the Spirit, the oil. The love. You have to have love. And the love is going to transport can, can energize us and lift us up. Amen. And the Bible says, This mortal shall put on immortality. We shall be changed. The caterpillar changes skin. The caterpillar changes skin, changes into a butterfly. And we shall have a me metaphor for mimosis. When we shall change, we will not always be this way, brethren. We shall be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye. Amen. So, brethren, I encourage us to be strong in the Lord. I encourage us to hold on. As we sang earlier today, anchor. Make sure your anchor hold. And grips the solid rock. Mm -hmm. Because our God is not unfaithful. No. He's a faithful God. Amen. Yes, he is. And the Bible says, in the, I'm just closing now. The Bible says, gather 
my saints unto me, those who have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Amen. By sacrifice. Some people have got time for many things, but they don't have time for God. They don't have time for God. But gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So my brethren, God bless you. I thank God for every one of you whom God has called and who are faithful. And we are determined no matter what the situation is that we will not let go Jesus because he will not let us go. What can separate us from the world of God? Not coronavirus. Nothing. Not social dist distancing. Not wearing of masks. And we will not take the vaccine. Because our God don't need a vaccine. Amen. Praise the Lord. But we will serve the Lord. We will worship the Lord. We will trust in the Lord. And our God is able to deliver us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. The Lord bless you, my brethren. And we thank God for every one of you, every one of God's children. We know, we know ourselves. We know of the faith. The Bible says we must earnestly contend for the faith that was once given to the prophets and the apostles. We must contend to that faith. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray a closing prayer. God bless you. And um, may we continue to hold fast. Mm -hmm. You know, the one songwriter says, Every day with Jesus is sweeter than the day before. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, brethren, for us, we have to say that and we have to feel it. We have to feel that we are going higher. Where we are climbing. Our faith is being lifted. And God is with us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God has done so many great things. Great things for us. We are off. We are glad. I'm going to pray. God bless you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you glory. I thank you, God, for all of your children. I thank you for every one of your children, oh God, tonight in this teleconference. Lord, I pray that your, your presence will be with your people. Lord, I pray that your anointing will be with your people. Lord, I pray that you remove every shadow of doubt, every shadow of fear from the heart of your children. Lord, help us, Lord, to contend for that faith that was once given to the prophets and the apostles. Lord, help us, Lord, to look to you and trust in you. We know that you are God. We know that you are God all by yourself. And you are able to do more exceedingly abundantly above that we can ask and think. We worship you, Lord. We glorify you. We thank you for every one of your children. Bind our hearts together, though we may be separated. But God, give us one heart. Give us one mind. Give us one determination. Hallelujah. And we claim the victory right now in your name. Bless us and keep us and cover us under your blood. We give you praise. We give you thanks and we give you glory. In the name Amen. of Jesus, we thank you. We thank you. God bless you, my brethren. Um, sister, God bless you, sister McLean, sister. Uh, my her sister Yvonne. Yes, Yvonne, sister. God bless you, brother. God bless you, sister Yvonne. God bless you. May the grace of God be with us. God bless you. Regardless of what is happening, my sister, my brothers, we are happy people. Amen. And we're, we're not the ones who are going to be living in fear. No. But we trust in our Lord because we know our Lord is able. Amen. Amen. 
He's able. God bless the sister McLean. God, God bless, bless he's able McLean, to carry us through. Bye bye. God, God bless you, my brethren. Anybody else at Sunday? The good Lord be with you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you also. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Have a blessed week, bless all of you. you. For who can make it? We have prayer meeting on Wednesday night. Yes, prayer meeting on Wednesday day. night. God bless you. If you can Hallelujah. make it, we'll be glad to have you. See you at prayer meeting. God yes. bless. God bless Sister Clark. And oh, God bless. bless you, brother. Keep up the good fight. The fight of faith.